Kira Koto. I'm Susan Jordan and I'm a dancer, have been a dancer all my life. Um, I'm now focusing on uh, teaching older people, 60 plus, uh, seniors dance, and you can see my website. Uh, the classes are, uh, most people coming to classes are in their 70s, some are in their 80s, some are in their 60s. Uh, but dance is a great way um, to keep moving. It addresses our physical being, our mental, social well-being, and it's just a great way to be able to move. Um, in the classes, I've got all sorts of people, some of whom have got arthritis. Uh, we start sitting on chairs, and that's for how you're standing or how your um, spine is aligned and how your feet are working. That means that we can do work with our feet and our hands, so keeping the feet very mobile is really important. I notice with older people, especially when they start working with um, a, a, a walk or, or a, um, a, a stick of some sort, that they start shuffling. So it's really important that you can keep your feet mobile, especially at the ankles and the toes. And that helps the walking. It also helps the balance um, and, and your confidence. So we do start off with exercises for different parts of the body, including the feet and the hands and the arms, getting mobility into the shoulders, keeping that mobility there and in the spine. And then we do standing exercises. And I do play, pay a lot of attention to balance and how we're walking. But dancing isn't just exercise. The added advantage of dance is that it's creative and that it's all done to music. And I think the music and the creative ideas that we're working with also distracts you from any pain that you might have. We all have pain um, of some sort and it, it moves around as we age, it, it, certainly in different parts of the body. It depends what you sort of work you did when you were younger as to how your body is reacting now. But I do find that um, a lot of people have got arthritis and by moving and thinking about creative ideas, they get distracted from the pain that they might have. So that's a very good way of, of dancing. Um, yeah, we, we imagine all sorts of things. So one of the exercises I've started for this term, or the a focus, is drawing our names. Drawing our names with our arms, and that get, gets our arms moving um, with both arms, and then also with the feet. And then later on in class uh, for this term, we were doing a lot of free movement, starting off with drawing your name on the floor, and that's also addressing the issues of balance. Um, working with other people, how do you... So the names were just, drawing the names were just the starting point. I find when people get older or if they're in pain, they tend to limit the sort of movement they do. And so one of my um, theories is distracting people enough so they can start doing other sorts of movement, um, a bigger range of it. The other thing I do in my class is a lot, is a lot of brain gym, that is movement that crosses over the body. So um, I have different combinations of, of that, different ways of doing it. And I set all my work to music. Um, because I'm working with seniors, that tends to be music that they're familiar with. I tend to use like classical music a lot. So I combine that with um, other music from when we were younger and we recall what it was like, um, you know, when we were doing the twist or the jive or whatever. And that's just good for the body to get the body moving. Well, the dance classes, Seniors Dance, I teach in Auckland and there are other people teaching classes too. But if you're not in Auckland, um, then I suggest wherever you are, there's bound to be a dance teacher of some sort, um, get your friends together and go ask the teacher would they provide a class for senior adults. Um, and you know they might never have heard of that because people tend to think of dance for little girls rather or um, teenage girls rather than for w women. But go and ask them because um, there's a lot more awareness around the world now of the importance of us keeping moving. It's not just for young kids and dance is a great way to do it.